Today we will be discussing the group levels inside Crimson 3.2 and the features unlocked with each group. The groups offer field upgradable software to allow users to unlock additional functionality from protocol conversion to IoT connectivity on existing hardware. In an always changing industrial environment, the device could be initially deployed as a simple network gateway using the Group 1 features and allow remote access to a site's equipment or network. Later, the need may arise for an automation device with data acquisition and collection through protocol conversion, data logging, and possibly even used as a controller with our IEC 61131 based Crimson Control. Unlocking the device to a Group 4 would allow the same device to remain installed and simply upgraded in the field to the higher feature set. Our Group 1 features act as a network gateway, giving the user a web interface or Crimson-based configuration options. It also utilizes the advanced networking abilities such as firewalls, routing, NAT, radius authentication, and VPN server or client abilities. Group 2 acts as a protocol gateway, utilizing all Group 1 features, and adds our 300-plus protocol drivers, MQTT cloud connectors, and OPC UA server and client functionality. Next, the Group 3 Advanced IIoT features add in all automation abilities with SQL Sync and data logging. It also adds the remote HMI capability and an advanced web server for data viewing and advanced diagnostics. Our highest Group 4 feature set unlocks the full potential by adding Crimson Control, our IEC 61131 programming ability within Crimson. Crimson Control allows users to program using ladder logic, function block, instruction list, and structured text, further enhancing the device to become an industrial controller while still retaining all networking and protocol gateway features. Taking a look inside Crimson, the interface will be adjusted based on the group level selected. As I create a new Crimson database, you can see the selection to choose my device's group level. Once selected, my Crimson environment will be adjusted for the features included within the group one that I selected. This can also be changed in the hardware configuration general settings. Here, I will make the change to a Group 3, and once I commit the change, you will notice my additional features become available. You can also upgrade the device remotely via the system web server and navigate to the system information page. You would then click on Get Device Key. This will prompt you to save a text file, which will need to be provided to Red Lion for your upgrade. You will then be sent an unlock file to be downloaded via the Install Unlock File button. Once complete, a system restart will be required where the device will power back with the new group level. For more information, please visit our website or contact a representative. Thank you.